We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel, which has come to you, as indeed the whole world is bearing fruit and increasing, as it is also does among you since the day you heard it and understood the grace of God in truth. Just as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant, he is a faithful minister in Christ on your behalf and has made known to us your love in the Spirit. And so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in the manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Folks, the devotion that I will start into this morning focuses on four areas that I want to pose to you as questions. And this is taken from Colossians 1, 3 through 14 that I just read to you. First, starting in verses, verse 8, 1, 8. And it's a short statement speaking to the servant Epaphras and his visit to Paul while in chains, where he shares with Paul his knowledge of the church in Coloss and what they are going through but yet reports to Paul that he has made known to him your love in the spirit. The question I pose to you is, who is your witness to your love in the spirit? Is it your children? Is it your spouse? Is it your coworkers? I've often told our connect group and prayed with our connect group that our children are watching us, our teenagers, our older children, our adult children. They're watching how you carry yourself which the rest of this particular section of Colossians speaks to. Let's look at section 110, verse 10. So as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. What does your walk in faith reveal about you? Are you taking your steps, your next steps to increase in the knowledge of God? This is what Switzerland Community Church exists to try to accomplish, to help you take those next steps. Remain in the word. During this time of, of the pestilence across the land, of being affected with uh, uh, issues within our economy and just challenges abroad, it is important for you to increase in the knowledge of God. Remain in the word. Feed yourself with the word of God. Let's move on. To verse 11, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. If this is so, this is the actionable result of what we just discussed in verse 10. What steps are you taking? Are you remaining in the word? And lastly, verse 12, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. This is the response that we should have within our hearts. It's the reason for the joy. It's a thankfulness for what the Father has revealed and provided, recognizing that, that you are sharing in that inheritance. We are children of God. Let us pray. Father, I pray for endurance, strength, and protection and peace for our church, Lord. At this time of what we are going through, Father, we need your love and protection more than ever. Lord, many of us have been affected by this pestilence, Lord, and I thank you for your grace and mercy that has been poured out on us and restoring us to health. Father, I pray for your continued 
wisdom and guidance to be poured into our elders and to our pastors. Father, for discernment to be provided to the members of our congregation, Lord. But more than Father, I pray for your continued comfort, peace, and guidance to our nation. And Father, protection for our future. A future that has been secured by the blood of your Son and a guaranteed hope, Father, to be with you. I pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen.